thank you for talking against war. Thank you for bringing up the fact that Yemen is paying for what is going on in between the Saudi and the US. And I, as an Afghan American, have seen the effect of war. Uh, the Cold War that started in the 70s and 80s in between the Soviet and America. Afghans are still paying for it. All that being said, when you are talking about the fact that you are against war and you are against our foreign policies, I get very excited and I get very hopeful and I get tearful. But I also feel very hopeless. Why I feel hopeless? Because our system, our foreign policy is built in a way that we thrive when other people fail in the other part of the world. We had Bernie Sanders and we all were so excited that maybe he will bring a change. But his own party stopped him from doing that. Tulsi, so I'm all for you. And I hope that I'm going to stand on those polls and vote for you in 2020, hoping that you will. can go to our addicts, to the mental health, to our health care here in the States. People are dying of poverty, and yet people are dying of poverty in Afghanistan, in Syria, in Yemen, in Iraq, in parts of Africa, because we have started those wars. Tulsi, how are you going to fight your own party, you are own Democrats, how? Yes. Thank you for sharing your heart with all of us. speak for so many whose voices are not being heard. You have just laid out why, why I'm running for president. It's not, this is not a political ambition that I have had for myself. With the obstacles that are in place and the challenges that exist, it is because of the people that you're talking about, people whose lives are being impacted, that make me work tirelessly to run for president to bring about this change. We're not naive to the challenges that lay before us, or the obstacles that are placed ahead of us, or the smear tactics uh, that are used against us. Yes, it's coming from within our own party. The most attacks I get are not from Republicans. They're from Democrats. They're from people in the mainstream media. They're from people in the foreign policy establishment that you're talking about. People who represent the interests of the military industrial complex. But you know what? You know what? The answer to how we overcome this, it's us. It's we the people. The stronger they come, the stronger we respond. And you know what, we don't respond. We don't respond to their dirty tactics or their hate with more hate. We respond with strength and love and our message of peace and humanity.
We cannot lose faith in the power that we hold within our own hands, our own feet, our own voices in our hearts. It is only when we reclaim our own voices and our own power in dictating the change in this country that we need to make that we can be successful. People will get into a lot of conversations about uh, political tactics and how do we win this race and who's going to beat Donald Trump bluntly. And I might get in trouble for saying this. What does it matter if we beat Donald Trump if we end up with someone who will perpetuate the very same crony capitalist policies, corporate policies, and waging more of these costly wars? This is why I'm running for president. This is not a joke. This is not for fun. This is not about me. It's about all of us. It's about our future. Making sure that we have one. I ask for all of your support. I ask you to stand shoulder to shoulder with me in this movement for peace abroad, peace at home, so that we can fight for that path towards a bright future with opportunity and justice, equality, and respect for all. Thank you so much for coming out.